Did you know that you can make your Discord server more like Reddit? So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this using a brand new feature in Discord called Forum Channels. Now these new forum channels that Discord has added will actually be applicable and usable by almost any Discord community or server out there. It doesn't really matter what kind of content you're doing or what type of channels you have and, and what your main focus is. It's a very usable feature in a lot of different ways. So this is probably going to help you out. Let me know in the comments if it does and what you're going to use it for and whether you're going to go full blown Reddit or maybe just use it for a couple of channels. But before we get there, two things I want to mention really quick. One, if at any point in this video you determine that you like this video, which this will be back here reminding you of the entire time. <laughs> but like the video for me if you would. It would help the video out a lot and I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that kind of good stuff. Now, the second thing that I want to mention is if you're a streamer like me and you're watching this video because you're putting together a Discord server for your stream community, then you're really going to love the sponsor of this video, owned.tv. With a large library of professionally made stream overlay packages, an emote maker, and even sub badges, Owned has your stream graphics covered. Their premium overlay packages, for instance, include animated alerts, webcam borders, banners, Twitch panels, and more to make sure your stream looks professional and your branding is consistent. You can even customize these overlays with the elements you want to use, making your final design specific to you. On top of all of this, you can use code EagleGarrett at checkout to get 50% off of your purchase. So check out Owned with my link in the description and get your stream set up today. Massive thank you to Owned.tv for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out my link in the description, but let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at Discord forum channels and how they will allow you to turn your Discord server into Reddit. So here we are in the Flock Discord server. This is our Discord server from this community here on YouTube as well as my community over on Twitch. And this is basically where everybody hangs out. If you'd like to join discord.gg slash flock, we would love to have you in here. Feel free to swing on by and hang out with us. But uh, we actually incorporate this new forum channel feature in our Discord. Now, before I show you what it looks like in Discord, let me just show you what Reddit looks like. If you don't have any idea or you're not super familiar with Reddit, uh, basically, it's a forum where you can create a topic or a community around a specific topic. Right now, we're on the New World Game Forum page of Reddit. And this is uh, a game that I really like to play over on my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash EagleGarrett. I'm just giving you all the links today. But uh, I really like this game. So what it is, is somebody has created a New World community on Reddit, and then people can start making these posts. And as they make posts, other people can comment on those posts, they can uh, upvote those posts, and the, the best or most liked posts basically rise to the top. And so this is a great place to go in here, see what kinds of stuff people are talking about, and you can just look through and you can also see over here on the left hand side how many upvotes it has and uh, you know if it catches your eye, if it's something you're interested in, you can go down here into the comments and then you can really jump in and basically join the new world community right here on Reddit. But Reddit has all types of different conversations, all types of different communities. It's not just limited to new world or just a game, it's everything that you can imagine. Even people that like to go thrift store shopping and people who quilt and I mean you name it, it's on here. So what if you want to use this type of format for your discord server where people could make posts and instead of having a whole bunch of cross conversation going on they could have everything lined out via a different category or thread so to speak well in discord if you look the traditional channel that is in discord servers is like this right here uh, you can go to our general channel and you just see a whole bunch of people talking about random stuff right and so it's this big long kind of running uh, dialogue between everybody in the general chat. The problem with this is, is that if you start a conversation with somebody, then uh, a couple of other people start getting into a conversation and those conversations start getting mixed up. They kind of start, you know, going back and forth and then you have to start tagging each other, you know, adding each other in order to uh, see the replies to your conversation and it gets a little convoluted. Well, in a general chat, it's basically a big linear chat, so it's not that big of a deal. But let's say that you have a section like we do called Tech Talk, right? This is where you can talk about anything to do with tech. You can talk about your stream equipment. You can talk about problems you're having with your computer and troubleshooting issues. So there's a lot of different people that jump in with a lot of different 
conversation topics, but oftentimes when somebody posts something, if somebody else posts a different question and then people kind of answer one of those questions, then the original question will get lost, right? So we converted our Tech Talk section into a forum channel. And what this means is, you'll see that I it has a different logo, right? Normal channels have the little hashtag, but a forum channel has these two little text bubbles. And so when I click on this, it's actually gonna take us into a Reddit type of forum. And so what that means is that not only can I go through and I can see all the different, uh, you know, conversation topics people have posted, but I can also create my own post. And if you use this for your entire Discord, you technically could turn your Discord into a Reddit style server where every single category was create, you know, a bunch of posts created by your community. Now, in a lot of servers and in a lot of cases, you won't need to make every single channel a forum channel. Um, but when it makes sense, convert certain channels into a forum channel that need to have a bunch of different conversations going on at the same time. In Tech Talk, people were talking about all kinds of different tech-related conversations, so it makes sense. Now, if you click on one of these, over here on the right-hand side, you're going to see the who the original poster is, because it'll literally have a little OP tag next to their name, and then you're going to see all the replies going on to that original poster's uh, you know, original comment up here at the top. People can also go and like or whatever emoji uh, you decide to make your, uh, your your standard, you know, kind of default emote, then they can actually uh, click on that. And we've got a little, I use a heart emote for ours, but you can make it a thumbs up, you can make it an up arrow, whatever you want to do. And uh, people can basically upvote or like your post. And then you can go through and you can see everybody else's reply to this specific conversation that is going on. So it's always going to pop up over here on the right hand side. Um, and uh, and so whatever, whatever you're clicking on, is going to show you the conversation over here on the right hand side of that particular thread and then you can reply down here at the bottom to that thread and so this is a really really cool way to organize your discord and it gives you a lot of options right so you are maybe asking how do I do this in my server well it's very easy I'm gonna to go to our test server over here and it's just like adding a regular channel, but when you click the text channel plus icon, now you're going to see the forum feature pop up and see how it says new here. You can click on learn more. It'll take you over to their website and tell you a little bit more about the intention of it. They're testing this feature right now. So all I have to do is click on the forum, uh, you know, um, option. And then I go down here and I name it whatever I want. And in this case, we're just going to name it, um, you know, we'll say basic forum, right? And so this is our basic forum, uh, and then we're gonna either choose to make it private or not turn this on to keep it public. We're gonna hit create channel, and now it's gonna take us into the setup phase. So if you're the one that is creating the forum channel, then or you're a moderator or you're the administrator, you're going to have multiple different options right here. But the basic thing is you're gonna to wanna to go through and set your recommended uh, uh, you know, permissions. So if you have a role that your server, everybody in your server has to have in order to participate, then you're gonna to wanna to select that here. Or if you use the at everyone role for all the generalized stuff, then you're gonna to wanna to turn this on to let everybody make a post in your server. So it really depends on how you have your permissions and rules set up. Once you do that, you're going to hit save. And then uh, right underneath that, you're going to create some post guidelines. And this is where you're going to type up, you know, what the forum channel is all about, what the, you know, expectation is for people while they post here, basically the rules and the description of what the forum is. After that, you can go down here and you can actually type out, uh, you know, a few different tags for your particular forum channel. So if it's a gaming channel, you can put in, uh, you know, gaming and then maybe specific games that people can tag or, you know, every game that people could talk about, you could put in there so people could tag that. And, and they'll actually be able to sort posts by the tags used. So there's that feature, which is really, really cool. Every single um, tag can be up to 20 characters long. So just make sure you keep it within uh, that, uh, you know, that parameter there. Um, and then also you can, uh, you know, choose to only allow moderators to to apply tags. So this is up to you again, but that feature is available. Now, once you do that, you go back over here, uh, you're going to set your default reaction for posts. So like you saw our heart emoji that we use, uh, you can select an emote and you can use whatever you want. And in this case, we're going to hit the thumbs up button and hit save. And so now people will automatically have a little thumbs up button there that if they like the post, they can click on it. And it's basically like an upvote for your post. It's not going to change the order of them, but it will let you know what posts are pretty popular and what people really, really like or are most 
you know, participating in. The last thing that you will do is hit make a post. And this is where you're going to title your post right up here and then put in the body of your post as well as any, you know, pictures or videos that go along with it. Once you do this and you hit post, you have created a forum channel. And at that point, people can start making posts in there. Your post will be in there. You can actually go and pin your post. So in ours, you can see how I pinned our general forum channel for Tech Talk. So this is always going to be at the top, but then any new posts that come in are basically going to show up right underneath that in chronological order. And uh, you can see up here at the top that I can sort or filter things by those tags that we created. So if I hit on streaming here, it's going to show me any post that has the streaming tag included, right? If I click on uh, computers, it's going to show me the ones that have computers. Um, and this is a really cool thing because you can click multiple different tags up here that you want to filter by. And, uh, and and, you know, we may actually end up doing this for our gaming section. We got a gaming section over here and uh, we may just create a tag for every kind of game and then people can just tag their post with what game it is. I mean, it would be a really cool way to clean up the game section. You know what I mean? What's up guys? Future Garrett here. And there was one other feature that I did not mention as I went back through and was editing this video that I wanted to include in the video as a whole, which is a massively important part of what makes Reddit Reddit. And if we'll go over to Reddit, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But basically it's this whole uh, upvote system. So once a post is made on a, you know Reddit as a forum post, then people have the ability to upvote or downvote. Now, we're not going to be able to have the downvote feature, but we can have the upvote feature. And what we can do is on Reddit, if you'll notice up here at the top, they will sort things by either what's hot or what's new. You can click on what's new and it'll bring the new stuff to the top or the top posts, right? And the top posts is, uh, you know, the, the most upvoted or most liked posts within this Reddit uh, page, which is the New World page, right? So in that case, if we wanted to do that with uh, with Discord, we can. There's a way to do that with Discord. So once you get your uh, your forum post all set up or your forum page is all set up. We've already kind of talked about all that. I went ahead and set up a brand new one in my test server and I'm going to show you what you need to do. And the bot you're going to use is called DinoBot. Now, this feature is free uh, at the time of the recording of this video and hopefully they'll keep it that way. But you'll be able to use this feature for free with your forum posts set up on Discord to make your Discord channel and forum section almost exactly like Reddit. Okay, so this is what's going to be kind of the icing on the cake. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to DinoBot. And here we are on the DinoBot dashboard for my test server. Now, there is a feature under modules. If you click on modules and scroll down, there is a feature right here called Starboard. Now, if I click on settings right here for Starboard, it's going to bring up the, uh, the, the back end for this feature. And this is the feature you're going to want to use. So what you do is, and, and to test this, I'm going to put the count at one, but you're going to select how many of a specific emote you want people to click or what number of emote clicks that a post will get before it gets recognized as being on the starboard and starboard is basically just a way to rec to say um, top posts okay so uh, I went ahead and turned off ignore self stars you want to have this on when you set this up so that people can't uh, you know vote for themselves unless you want them to vote for themselves uh, and then you can go ahead and you know turn this off, but uh, we're going to leave it off for the purpose of testing. And then also uh, you want this where it says react to starboard posts. Um, you want that to be on so that d the Dinobot itself can react to a starboard post and put the emoji necessary in order to give that post more votes. Okay. Uh, and then some of these things you have to have premium in order to do. So for instance, a custom emoji, uh, you can't change out this emoji. So if it's, if you're using the free version, it's going to be a gold star. And then down here, you're going to select what channel you want your starboard posts or your top posts to go to. All right. So in my discord, my test server here, you'll notice that I have under my text channels, I've created a top posts channel. And this place right here is where all of the highlighted top posts in my server that receive the most gold stars are going to go. They're going to get recognized here and then people can look through the top posts and they can actually vote on those posts and, and give them more stars. Uh, so what we're going to do is once we make a top post, you know, um, channel and we've given that channel the proper permissions for Dinobot, if you need to know more about Dinobot permissions and things like that, I've got other videos you can check out on my YouTube channel talking about permissions, but go ahead and set up the right permissions, all that sort of thing, and then create this channel. Go back to your forums channel 
um, get that all set up and ready. And once you've got that set up and ready, the only other thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have your, you know, if there's any channels you want to ignore from this feature, set those here. And then if you want any roles to not be able to, um, you know, access this top post voting feature, you can set those roles here. Uh, but we've got this set up. It's ready to rock and roll. We went ahead and used the one star count. So the first star that's placed on a post should put it in that top posts category on my discord server right here. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a test a test post, all right? It's going to be actually let's uh yeah, I'll say new post here. It's going to be a test post. Uh we'll put it in the testing tag and we're going to say um testing the starboard feature. All right? And uh and then we are going to hit post. Now, when we do this, it's going to create a brand new post for us under our forum. All right. So this the anybody, whenever, but anybody posts under your forum, it's automatically going to give them this gold star. Now, how do we give them the gold star? We set our custom emoji or our default emoji when we set up our, uh, our forums channel to be the gold star, right? Because that is the default on the back end of Dinobot. So as long as you use the gold star emoji, then you will be fine. So we set that up as our default emoji, and now every post that's posted under here is going to have a gold star automatically. But you'll notice nobody's clicked it yet, right? So if I react to it here or I react to it here, either way, as soon as I click this, okay, watch this, as soon as I click it, boom, something popped up under top posts, okay? So if I click on top posts, you'll notice that now, because we set our limit to one star, all we needed is one person to react with a gold star and that post would get put into the top posts area. Uh, now, there is a top post channel where people can go and see all of the most highly voted um, or gold starred posts within our Discord server. And this will go across all of your channels. So as long as a post in any of your channels that's not ignored has a gold star on it, uh, or however many you set your base, if you set it to five, it'll have to have at least five gold stars before it gets put over here. But as soon as it does, it'll get put into this uh, top post area. And then people can go through here and let's say a new uh, person that comes in is wanting to look through and scroll through all the top posts, right? They scroll down, they see one they like, they can also react right here with a gold star and look what happens. After a moment, we've got two gold stars here and it's going to go ahead and increase the number of gold stars that are attributed to this post. Now, the coolest thing about this, once you once you have all your top posts set up and everything like that, the coolest thing about this is if people want to go and interact with that particular post, all they have to click is jump to the, the message, right? Click to jump to message. You click that and it's going to take you right over to the message that has the most gold stars that you've wanted to look at. So this is what ties this entire thing together and allows you to really genuinely make your Discord server a lot like Reddit. And you can utilize these features features in order to create a discord server where all the best posts are going into kind of a top post you know featured area and then people can go and see the best stuff that's been posted and kind of get a recap from the day instead of having to go through every single channel and you know scroll through and find the best things right this is a very very cool feature and now you can set up your discord with it in mind as more of a reddit style forum and uh, with a combination of these two things You've got all the features you would need for Reddit, or at least the big ones. Obviously, you don't have all the features, but you can kind of get there with Discord, which I think is super cool. So if you do like this feature and this video, don't forget to hit that like button for me. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it, and it does help out the channel, the video itself, all that kind of good stuff, as well as the subscribe button, notification bell. It'll let you know when videos like this go live. In addition to that, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. Like I said, we'd love to have you over there in the community. Come hang out, ask questions in the chat, all that kind of good stuff. Leave a comment below about what you think about this new feature in Discord and whether you're going to be using it, how you're going to be using it. I would love to know some of the ways that you guys are going to implement it in your servers. And also, if you want to join our Discord, like I said, discord.gg slash flock, we would love to have you in the community with us. You can also find me on all this social media right here at the bottom of the screen. Make sure you hit all those links down in the description of this video. I'll have everything down there. Uh, but until the next one, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, rock on, peace out. God bless. And last but not least, cacao. I really want to see if we can like if it jumps out of the sand if we can hit it with like a like oh there it goes. Wait wait where where? It was what right there. It was right there. Like uh, to the left, where my mark was. It literally, dude, oh, that was such bro. a huge like it just popped out of the sand. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen its face before. 
I just saw like the side of it for a split second. For a split second? Oh my gosh. I'm going to literally go right to where it went down in the sand. I really hope I don't die.